Hey YouTube, it's your boy I'm here coming to you guys with this quick video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a really cool Photoshop effect. Now the effect that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is called the paper effect. And it's what you guys are seeing right here on my wallpaper. So as you can see, I have Tech Shows U, I have Subscribe down there, and I have an iPhone over here on the left side. Now as you can see, they, it looks like all of them are on top of crumpled uh, binder paper. And then it looks like they're taped down. That's the effect that we want to get. So what you want to do is open up Photoshop and then go to file and new then title it whatever you want I'm gonna be titling it paper effect and then make sure it's 1280 by 720 make sure the resolution is 72 now the size uh, varies whatever you guys want to make it I'm gonna just stick with this then the color mode change it to RGB color 8-bit uh, and then make it transparent then just click OK so once that is done what you want to do is go over here and make a new layer so once that layer is created, I'm going to uh, rename it. Here, I actually double clicked it wrong. I'm going to rename it and call it BG for background. So then what you want to do is go over here into your gradient. It might be set to a paint bucket. All you have to do is right click on it and click gradient tool. And then set a gradient. Now, mine doesn't really look like much of a gradient, but it, it is. So just set whatever colors you want. To set it, what you want to do is double click this uh, little square. And then just choose your colors. So, and then the same goes with the other one, just double click it and choose the color. So that is basically it. Now once that is done, once you have set your gradient, what you want to do is hold shift and click over here somewhere above and then go all the way down below and then let go. Now by holding shift, you create a straight line. So what you want to do is go over here and select your text tool. Now I'm using the Devil Breeze font, but you guys can use whatever font you want. I'm going to type in uh, text shows you, but first of all, you want to change your color all the way down to uh, black and then type in whatever you want. So I'm going to type tech shows uh, you like that. And then I'm going to go over here and grab, uh, click this tool right here and just move it all over to about the center or wherever you want to place it. You can make it smaller or bigger. I'm just going to be showing you guys with one simple word how to do it. All right, so here we go. We got my tech shows you right here. Now what you want to do is go over here and select your uh, magic wand. So magic wand tool. Hold shift and click each letter. By holding shift, you can click multiple letters and you guys are going to see why this is going to come in handy. But anyways, hold shift and click each letter that you have. Now after that, go over here and click select. Then go to modify and click expand. Then expand it by 15 pixels and click OK. So once that is done, make sure to create a new layer. And you want to go over here and change your foreground color to a white. And then what you want to do is hold alt and click backspace to fill it in and as you can see that is filled in so I, before I keep going I just want to let you guys know I would really recommend you guys to label or to name all your layers because that way you don't get confused so I'm going to name this one uh, TSY for textures you and white that's what I'm going to name it you can decide to name it whatever you want alright so then once that is done what you want to do is open up a picture of crumpled binder paper this can simply be obtained um, in Google images just simply type in crumpled binder paper and it should come up all right, so once it, uh, you have you have it open right here, what you want to do is click uh, Control A, Control C to copy it, and then go Control V over here to paste it. So what you want to do is title this uh, paper. Again, I keep clicking on that, but double click it and type it uh, type paper in. So then what you want to do is grab this little tool over here and expand it so that it completely uh, covers your whole your whole words or whatever you are uh, doing. So make sure it completely covers it like that. So that is perfect. And then once that is done, what you want to do is uh, click enter because every time you move something in Photoshop, what you got to do is click enter. Uh, all right. So once that is done, what you want to do is hit alt and hit in between both of these, the paper and the white kind of outline. And then it will create like a clipping and it will look like this. So that is basically what you want. After that, just move your textures you uh, text up here and it will look like this. Now you want to drop your opacity of your paper down to about 90 and yeah, that's 91 I just like being exact you don't have to and then for textures you I would recommend you drop it to about 70 70 would be perfect yeah like that that looks really nice then go over here and double click on your uh, TSY white so the white not the paper but on the white and click drop shadow now you want to uncheck this box right here the use uh, global light and then change the bottom to 15 Make sure that the distance is 5, the spread is 0, the size, like I already said, is 15, and then the opacity is 75. Then click OK. Now, as you can see, it does a really nice 
uh, drop like backdrop effect so or drop shadow like it says drop shadow effect all right so now we're gonna quickly create the um, tape which is the actually the easiest part so you want to get a square I mean a triangle about this size doesn't have to be exact you can change it but about that size and then go over here to your foreground color and not choose not just a white but choose something that's a little lighter or actually a little darker than a white so something like this it's not completely white and click OK then again uh, what you want to do is create a new layer and title this tape like so and then what you want to do is click out and backspace so then you can fill this tape in uh, with that color all right so once that is done what you want to do is just simply click enter just to make sure that it's all ready and go over here into your eraser tool now select the one that's a, the one that's the star and that has 19 like so all right then once that is done click enter and as you can see I do have a little star right here so with tape selected what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna grab like I already said my little star and I'm just gonna go along like this so it looks like uh, you wanna get an effect like if you would have ripped the tape because that's what it's gonna look like so that looks pretty good so then what you wanna do is uh, select it and change the opacity down to 50 so drop it down to 50 there we go so once you have that set what I do is uh, rotate it so when your arrow looks like this like a bent arrow just simply grab it and go over here and rotate it uh, so then just drop it down to however you can set it to whatever you want I'm gonna set it so that it looks like this it looks pretty nice alright so once you have that done click enter and then click uh, control J to duplicate it so that way you don't have to create two uh, different ones and then you can set it to whatever you want I'm gonna set it to this because it looks pretty nice like so click enter and there we go now what you want to do for both of them though is uh, select a drop shadow or make a drop shadow for both of them so click on tape your first one and go over here and go to drop shadow now this one you want to set down to about 10 so it's not as strong as the other one again uncheck this box click OK and that is perfect now go to tape copy or your second tape whatever it's named again drop shadow uncheck the little box change this to 10 again these should be the settings 75 5 0 and 10 then click OK and basically that is all there is to it now if you're doing multiple things such as I had over here textures you iPhone and subscribe those are three different things it would be a huge mess if you had all this spread out like that so what I do first of all is I close all these effects uh, little things right here and then create a new folder and call it let's say if this is going to be my textures you I'm going to call it TSY that stands for textures you then what I want to do is hold shift and click each one of the items except for background and layer one and drag it into TSY and then when you minimize it it's a lot less space so then that way you can have up to like seven things and not be totally messy and another positive thing about that is that if you click it you can grab it as a whole object and move it around and it's a lot easier to do anyways that is basically in my paper effect tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any further comments or questions leave them down below in the comment section if you guys want to see more videos like this or just want to keep following me on YouTube click the subscribe button on top of this video and if you guys like this video click the like button in the bottom left corner of this video I would also recommend you guys go check out my channel so you guys can see how I applied this effect to my channel layout All right YouTube this has been tech shows you now see you guys next time peace